Hello everyone, welcome to the Sandland demo. So I actually don't know a ton about this series. I know it was made by Akira Toriyama, rest in peace Akira Toriyama. But uh, I'm not super familiar with like, uh, I believe it has a manga and possibly an anime. Um, I know it got some new stuff recently. I think the original stuff was like a, a while ago. But uh, it recently got some new stuff and people seem to like that. But I saw this game and it seems really cool. So I was kind of interested in giving the demo a shot since it just released like a few days ago. Ignore the like load game stuff there. I popped in just to test some settings and how everything ran. So we can go ahead and hop in. Content and game balance in the demo differ from that of the full version. Yeah, you can definitely see Toriyama's art, on, art style on uh, these characters and stuff. Which is super nice. In this demo, you can explore and fight enemies in the following three vehicles. Battle tank, motorbike, and battle armor. You recover your vehicle's HP by resting at a camp. So yeah, basically as far as I understand this, like, this is a world where demons and humans, like, exist together. And we're in a desert, obviously, so there's like a lack of water and there's disputes that happen from that. This is our main character, uh, Beazelbub. Beazelbub. And uh, I always have difficulty with that word. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we can use Waz to move, move the camera, weak attack, powerful attack, jump, can double jump, and interact. Now that you have a storage capsule, you can carry up to five vehicles on you and summon them whenever you want. Ah yeah, Capsule Corp even works out here, huh? Capsule menu, choose vehicle, confirm. For vehicles you used before, you can skip the summoning animation by pressing F. You view control options. Okay, so we want C to access the menu, and then of course we have like our regular attacks and things like that. So, as far as I understand with this game, it seems like it's just kind of open world. I don't know a ton about what exactly is going on with it, but um, it would. I was interested in streaming it potentially when it when it did release. I believe it releases in five weeks. But so there's our light attacks, and then I have like a charge I can do. It's good to wander off the beaten path sometimes. Detours can be the source of all sorts of discoveries. True. We might come across other travelers' abandoned belongings or usable equipment. <laughs> Spoken like a true thief. And yeah, obviously I am going to play this dubbed just because it's easier for people to kind of half pay attention when it's dubbed. Normally I would play something like this subbed, but for LPs and stuff it's just easier. Ooh, we do have different air combos. Do I have something different for this? I do! There we go. Alrighty, so, uh, it said ally skill, boombox, and vehicle warfare from Rao. And then, what was, uh, the other one? Q. My special skill, Rush. Make sure to check your gear every now and then. You never know when something you've picked up might come in handy. Okay. I'll give him a look. Okay, how do we access that menu? Here? Characters. Oh, we have skill trees. Okay, so brace for attack. I mean, I'm not gonna look at a ton of this stuff right now because we are just in the demo, but... Oh my god, even they have skill trees. Tonfa. Rao uses his tonfas to intercept enemies that are closing in and knock them out. Ooh, that's super cool. I love any character that uses tonfas. Alright. Uh, and you said check equipment, so I'm guessing you're just meaning like... Customizations on these and yeah, obviously this is a type of game where you're going to be customizing your things here You have battle armor. You can see we have brass knuckle arms and a machine gun this this sort of stuff is super cool to me as well So was definitely very very interested in this. Let's see what one of the vehicles is like here um, When you was being let's let's start with the mech Couple ammo Yeah, look at my cool mech this definitely looks very similar to some of the stuff that you'd see, like, the Red Ribbon Army running around in. Battle Armor User Guide. Waz to move, X to autopilot. Move the camera, aim, leave vehicle, boost, jump. Toggle space while jumping, hover. Okay. So we can hover and boost. Main things. And I have my melee attack. Is that a Shoryuken? That looks like a Shoryuken. Q special melee attack. Um, hold right ready weapon. And left with rep weapon ready, shoot. Reload, hold B to guard. If you drain your boost gauge while guarding, you won't be able to guard for a certain period of time. Uh, option parts. Option modules have various effects. Use them to gain advantage. Active effects. Press uh, activate using tab plus five. After using an active effect, you must wait for the cooldown to end before you can use another. 
Take the uh, effect the moment they're equipped. You can change vehicle parts from the customized vehicle via the pause menu. Okay. Yeah. I, I let's let's get in. All right. Look at us go. There's our little boost. It seems like it's just like a small boost. There's my punch. Okay. And then uh, there's my machine gun. Always remain calm, no matter the situation. Will do. Your thinking will lead you to victory, even when the odds are against you. You're top nice. One down. Okay. Pew, 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 pew. And then I reload, like so. Cool. All right, well, somebody's going to get the brass knuckle arm. It is sure you. <laughs> oh, that looks great. Oh, the animations on this are fantastic. Looks so nice. At least that was sort of fun. Look at them with their little reduced frame rate. Hey, dorks. God. For some reason, this immediately makes me think of like Borderlands and dealing with like the random like cars and stuff that you would occasionally have to fight. The way they're just kind of riding around. Come here, you. Ow. You just bump into me? This weapon's busted. Uh oh, I'm getting kind of messed up. <gasps> no, my weapon. Okay, we're good. Somebody needs to be sure you'd. Yeah. This <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm getting bodied immediately. <laughs> they're too fast for me. Okay, we're done. We're done. Bye bye. Game over. <laughs> that didn't take very long. I immediately walk out and get bodied. That didn't seem like the uh, correct vehicle to use against those particular enemies. Well, we've given that a shot, so let's try, like, the motorbike. That might have been better for dealing with that particular group. Get in! So, WASD, X is autopilot, lead vehicle, boost. Um, while turning above a certain speed... Press space to drift. Aim mode, reload, change weapon. Oh, we can drift. Option modules have various effects, yeah. So active effects, activate using tab plus five. Um, so tab... Okay, so any number. Yeah, interceptor drone is what I have. I didn't actually use that in the previous one. Is this like a... Oh my god, we have a... Tw we have a 12 gauge shotgun on this bike? I'm curious. Who's the second strongest demon in your village? Uh, me? Duh! As things stand now, yes, that's probably true. Somehow, I don't like the way you phrase that. Um, dare I? What level is this thing? 15? Queen Scorpion, let's go, nerd! Boom. Whoa. I mean, I can definitely hurt it. Shotgun OP. Uh, I can switch to my fully auto machine gun. It could surface anywhere. It's fine. We got I know, it. I know. Uh, eat that nerd. Uh oh, <laughs> ow! <laughs> Get back on my bike. Get back on my bike. Get on. Here we go. This is super interesting. And we have like these like Mad Max vehicles. He could surface anywhere. And we're fighting these like giant scorpions. A powerful hit to the ground. Or I can just wait for it to come up. Oh god, get out of there. Uh let's switch back to our shotgun. Full choke. Alright, let's use our interceptor drone too, because that was what we were introduced to before. Five. <laughs> ah! Ow, ow, ow. I tried. Get on. Is my drone doing its thing? It is. It's under the sand, Prince. It could surface anywhere. I I know. Maybe you can lure it out with a powerful hit to the ground. Bang 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 bang! Eat that nerd. Uh. We're fine. We're fine. Uh oh. Uh oh. Run away. It's time for the interceptor drone again. Go. Uh, switch to my shotgun. Am I actually going to be able to kill it? I might. Reload! Oh, these little babies are in here now, too. Okay, shotgun seems like the way. Currently. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. This is super cool. Huh. I might, I might, I might legitimately have to stream this. This seems really, really fun and interesting so far. Makes me interested in reading, uh, the manga and, or just consuming the series in general. Whether I've watched it or read it. Die. Almost. We're almost there. Boom. 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 Gotcha. Oh, sorry, little friends. Okay, the bike seems incredibly mobile, which is nice. Go away. You don't want any of this. I just took down that giant scorpion, believe me. So can I, like, loot you or anything? Is there much reason in even actually defeating them? I find myself wondering. Hmm. Alright, let's, uh, let's get the tank. Look at our metal slug. Uh, so, autopilot. Hold F, leave the vehicle. Boost with shift. We have a brake on this one. So, shoot. Hold for aim mode, reload. Okay. I think I'm gonna mostly... Well, I mean, I guess we can roll around in this. Look at this thing. Are these wolves? When fighting in cramped oh. areas like cliffs, beware of blind spots. Getting caught off guard puts you at a disadvantage. I definitely hate to lose like that. I'll be careful. Interesting. What is this up here? Hi. Oh my god, the sensitivity on this is very low. <laughs> I just, I just, I just sniped that thing out of the air with an 88 millimeter. Uh, hi. Uh, they're a little angry. There we go. Um, I do have a machine gun to use too. As hilarious as it was to snipe you out with the other thing. What is this? Get out of here. What are you using? Okay, the machine gun, we might want something a little bit different here now. So, I have a high capacity missile pod. Five? Kablamo! Uh, oh my god! <laughs> okay, yeah, the tank's good at combat, who, who would have thunk it? Holy I've shit. i of creatures of tremendous power in this land. You never know when you might run across one of them. Oh yeah, I think I heard Father say that before. Come on, Beelzebub. Isn't it? Well, I suppose there's always someone stronger. <laughs> well, no matter how tough they are, there's no way they can be stronger than the King of Demons. Okay. Beelzebub really gives me big, um, which... I was gonna say Beelzebub really gives me big Laharl energy, but I guess it's more so Laharl from Disgaea gives me big Beelzebub energy. Looks like there's something up there. I know. We could reach it if we had a vehicle that could jump. I do not have a vehicle that could jump. We need one of those hoppy, hoppy lads. Okay, so these are the three vehicles I have right now, so I can't really do much with that. Um, I'm gonna get my bike back out just because it's the Here fastest. So, let's get out of here. What an interesting thing so far, though, I must say. So, what is my objective currently? Do I really have an objective, even? Uh, water supply point, Capri camp. Yeah, we probably have to manage our water. It did say these are the only vehicles that I actually get access to now. I guess I could just choose, like, an interesting location and kind of work my way towards it. Get out of here. I do like that we can drift. Drifting is a big plus. Ooh, what is this? Alright, hi. It's so wavy because of desert. How I'm gonna beat the other guy to a pulp? That's a start, but you might get better results by predicting what your enemy is going to do and reacting accordingly. You'll find it hard to lose if you're always fighting on favorable terms. Alright. Yeah, that makes sense. Can I get in here? No. Doesn't seem like I can. Not right now. Here we go. Uh, I don't suppose there's any way I can, like, break down the door or something? I tried punching it, but... I haven't even tried, like, on-foot combat yet. Maybe I should try that at some point. Yeah, I don't know if I can really get in there yet. Uh, alright, back to the vehicle. Lego. When fighting in right. cramped areas like cliffs, beware of blind spots. 
Getting caught off guard puts you at a disadvantage. Ooh. Okay, I think they've said that before. Oh, okay, here looks like a little dungeon. Like I said, I don't really know if the demo even has an objective or anything. Lickgar ruins. Hate to lose like that. I'll be careful. Can I? I think I can get over there with a double jump. No, I cannot. No, I cannot. Hmm. I would need something that could. Can't the can't the mech hover? Didn't we learn that? Maybe I use the mech to actually get in there. Let's go. Up we go. All right, let's give the let's give the mech a shot. Maybe that maybe that'll get me in there. Um, yeah. We jump and then I hold space, so, and we should be able to hover. Be yeah, jump, Demons hover. Usually spend their day. <laughs> Brace for true evil. We do stuff like dig pitfalls where people like to walk. Oh, nice. Oh, and thief even stole someone's comic the other day. Some of my finest work, if I do say so myself. There you go. See, you're evil, right? All right. <laughs> Big centipedes! Oh, look at them! Look at you! Look at you! How big you are! Wiggly, wiggly, woo! Oh, they're so- look at them! They're so cute! Look at the friends! My wife hates centipedes, so, um... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're so big and cute, though. They're great. And scorpion. Hello. Oh, these ruins are huge. I have never been inside them, even though they are so close to our village. It must have taken an extremely long time to build structures of this scale. People had way too much time on their hands. Kablam! Did that work? That did not work. Ow. Ow, please get up. Okay, we're okay, we're good, we're good. Um, okay, I have a special skill. Rush? I need a hundred somethings for that. Um, okay, I could do boombox with Thief. This is absolute murder on my hairstyle. Oh, okay. Okay, there we go, that works. Assassin Scorpion Venom obtained. I don't suppose I can hurt the tiny ones. Okay, and we're building up to some of our other attacks. Ah! Snake! I was just kind of shocked. We're good? Owie. Ow. Wait, if they- so wait, if I just get near? Huh. Okay. Um... If you want to be like that... Let's, uh... okay. Yeah, because it seems like I can't get near you because you'll counter me. Alright, fine. See what you think about that, huh? <laughs> okay. We're done. I don't need this anymore. <laughs> I just wanted it to kill the snake. We're out. Alright, good stuff. Anything over here? No? Hello? Do I have a boss fight or something? No. Oh, these ruins are huge. I have never been inside them, even though they are so close to our village. It must have taken an extremely long time to build structures of this scale. People had way too much time on their hands. Oh, didn't I just say that? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, th I think- I think- I think has just said that. Alright. Let's get up here. I do wonder what the object of this game would be, or would it just be like, you know, just run around and- there- there has to be like a main story or something. Right? Ancient copper coin, silver ore. I wanna see if I can maybe get into some of the- like, the vehicle upgrading and stuff. Just to- just to see what kind of different stuff you can get. I wonder what they might have originally been built for. There's hidden treasure too. Ooh. Maybe it was- Okay, we cut off the dialogue on accident. I almost have enough for my super. Yeah, my special skill. I can use it now. That's good. Okay, what's down here? Give? 
I am hurt a little bit. Do I have like items that can heal me? Um, items. Consumables? I do not have any consumables. I have materials, but not any of the other stuff. Hmm. And here we have different things. Pile driver arm? Drives a heavy pile straight towards enemies to deal heavy damage. We can put the shotgun on you. Short step backpack. Armored legs, cannon, lightweight mod. Okay. So yeah, we do have various different parts there that I can go ahead and adjust stuff with. It's it's messing me up so badly that backspace has closed the menu. It said this this game only works partially with controllers, so I was like, oh, I'll play it mouse and keyboard. That's fine. But uh, the backspace is throwing me off. For sure. <laughs> I do like actually being able to you know, have a mouse when I'm playing a shooter, though. There's more dust than air. You said it. Let's leave this place ASAP. Only All right. After we found its treasure, you mean? I'm trying. I'm trying. Ah, ah, oh God. Okay. <laughs> I did not mean to run off the gap there. Um, that appears to be something I'm going to have to hover to. Uh. Yeah, I can't seem to heal, so, uh, we, we do need to be careful here. Um, I accidentally fell off, which is unfortunate. Okay, let's walk back this way. Please excuse me, friends. There we go. Just do our big butt hover. I wonder what they might have originally been built for. Yeah, I know. Maybe it was at a playground? Dangerous place to leave your children. Ah! <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> okay, I pressed it because I was like, ah, I just want to boost a little bit. But uh, that boosted quite far. Uh, can I get over there with this? No, you're telling me just barely? Okay, let's let's stand on this. Come on, that's gotta that's gotta clear it. Yeah. Uh, ancient silver coin, silver ore, ancient gold coin, cool. Alright, and this gets me down here to whatever this... Wait, that I can't go that way? Apparently I can't go that way. I was just gonna fly across because it doesn't look like I can do anything else here. But it clearly doesn't want me just flying down to there. Okay, I guess we're... Whoa. I guess we're working our way towards some of these other things. All right, recharge our butt hover. Please. Oh, please clear that, thank you. Okay, it does look like there's a little bit more to do over there. So I guess I'll work towards that. We And we. I wonder what they might have originally been. They love saying that. Hidden treasure too. I wonder. Was at a playground? Hmm. Dangerous place to leave your children. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to uh nice. get over to that thing that I wanted to get over to, unless this was just the wrong way to come. Which I mean maybe. I did check down here, right? Yeah, that was just a treasure. And then if we go up here. I couldn't continue that way anymore, so. I think we're kind of done over here. Hey nerds! Yeah, that's what I think of you. Being able to just kind of dungeon crawl in a mech is pretty fun. So yeah, let's go check out this way then. Hi. There's more dust than air. Yeah, they definitely don't have a lot of lines. You said it. Let's leave this place ASAP. I'm trying. All right, so this room's cleared. Is there anywhere to actually go from here? Huh. Don't actually see anything. And I don't think I can get up there. Maybe it wants me to have one of the bouncy mechs? Because it looks like it would continue up there if I could get up there, but... Um... None of my current ones would be able to get up there. Okay. 
Well, let's go ahead and get out of them. The ruins, that is. Oh, they are so close to our village. Beautiful. It must have I am hurting, though. It's extremely long time to build structures of this. So I don't know how you get further in there to actually do some of the stuff. But, yeah. It seems like for the demo, they probably just have like a few canned responses the characters say. Feels like there should be a flag to be like, okay, they've said this before though, so don't make them say it again. Alright. Open up! Let go! Wee! Alright, so what am I working my way towards? There's a big, crazy looking thing over there. Ooh, there's a fire over there. Maybe that has something I want. Oh! As a... As a cliff. I still can't come. Hmm, no, this is not what I wanted. Come to terms with just how vast the outside world is. Don't want to think about how hard it would be to get around without vehicles. But it used to be even bigger, and there were no vehicles. Civilization truly made the world smaller. All right, um... I would like to get... Can I, like, fast travel back to where... I started? Yes, yes I can. I can also fast travel to the remote house. <clears throat> so let's fast travel back over here. Check. Okay, and water heals me. Cool. What's going on down there? Look at little lizard friend. So, what happens if I check? Can I change what equipment my various things have? I can rest until morning, which might heal me too. Where do I actually like edit my stuff here? I, I, I guess this, yeah. I was thinking for a second, I was like, uh, you probably, probably have to go to a certain place to do it, but no, we can just do it here from the menu. So, my primary is the tank gun. What could I switch it out for? <laughs> a cannon. I want to do that. Let's swap that out for the cannon. Good. Uh, auto repair, auto loader. Auto reloads, uh, ooh, that's nice. Okay, so back. The motorbike, what do I want to change off of here? I can only put, like, a machine gun or something on it. Okay, so we can't really change much about that right now. What about the battle armor? Brass knuckle arm? Let's put on the pile driver. Yes, please. And then I can have a shotgun. Yeah, sure. Let's put on let's put on the shotgun as my other one. All right, cool. So there's that. Uh, you. I just want to see what the pile driver and stuff looks like. Boom. So I basically just slap now, and then yeah, I can shoot. Whoever okay. think you might be lost, you should check the map. Yeah, getting lost and having a backtrack would be a pain. Yeah, it's unfortunate that this thing can only do like the little short boosts like this. It is unfortunate. Alright, but uh, let's actually get out of this and swap to the bike so I can actually move places. Oh, you can just quick swap between them, that's nice. So, we'll, in we'll investigate a little bit more, but, uh, ooh, what is this? What is this? Let's get out of here. I always press C to try and get out of the car, but no, it's F. What's going on with you, friend? Oh, I can't get in there. If by surprise, just stay calm and try to get distance from them. There's a, there's a thing. And then, run away. There was something called Running Yulin. In a blind panic gives them more chances to hit you in the back. Assess the situation calmly instead. Ooh, I prefer running toward them. Okay, wait, can I go in here? Nope. Okay, so this must all be like full game stuff. We're basically just given a little sandbox playground to, to run around in for the moment. But it's a very interesting what I've seen what I've seen so far, and I would be interested to see what the full game is like. Once we have, like, quests and all sorts of things to do on the map, I'm sure. I'm not normally one for, like, super open world games, but this has a... <clears throat> kind of unique draw that would, uh, pull me in, I feel. 
Enemy mech! Oh my god. Charged me. Out of here. What is that? There's those things that look like... I thought they were wolves originally, but no, those are some very angry kitties. Very, very pissed off cats. Reload all my guns. Alrighty. And... We can get over here. There's no, See it won't let me. Tracks. That's a sign that someone's been here before us. Following them might lead us to a useful location like a village or town. Oh, that's neat. The car should also go a bit faster than it would on unpacked ground. That's neat. So you follow tracks and it'll lead you to other stuff. What level is that thing? Level 15. I've already fought a Queen Scorpion though. We got, we got that over with earlier. So I feel no need. Uh-oh. It seems angry with me. How? Okay, I can't go down there. Just wanted to check. That is considered off the map. Alright, definitely seems like we're... I don't know, I don't know if I'm like actually hitting the limit of what we can do here. I don't know if I can complete that ruin or not, but... I feel like I've got a pretty good idea of what the game is offering and everything. Vehicle customization, exploring a big map, probably loot resources and stuff like that. I feel like I would, uh, have a good time with this, so... Maybe I'll give it a shot when it fully releases. I'll see... I'll see what reviews and stuff are, and uh... When you run into enemies in the desert, taking a head count is a good first step. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of enemies. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll probably look into maybe playing it. It definitely seems like it'd be more of a stream game than like an LP game, but... Ah, here's another cave. Ah, I'm gonna steal your shit! Can't stop me! Can't we just pick them off one by one? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so just a lot of that, running around, gathering resources, upgrading your vehicles and stuff. Seems like it'd be a fun time, so... Alrighty, I think we're gonna there end this look off few, here. Sure. But with large groups, you risk getting surrounded. Ha. Sounds more complicated than I thought. Alright, crew. Definitely has me interested in, uh, in attempting, uh, to read, like, the manga and stuff, like I said. Um, but, alright, yeah, we'll go ahead and, uh... In the quick look off here, I'll put the uh, link to the game in the description if I stop hiccuping. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Ooh, using items. Okay, so now we do actually have a consumable. Repair kit, ah, I see. Alright, but yeah, seems yeah. neato. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for something else.